This is it's our top seven lakes in Banff National Park. We're David and Sarah. At the end of 2021, we packed up our lavish Aussie lives into four suitcases to do a two-year working holiday in Canada. The awesome sights and experiences you're about to witness are the result of two people prioritizing fun, adventure, and each other over financial security, career goals, and social ideals. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming adventures. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be showing you guys some of our favorite lakes here in Banff. So we hope that you enjoy the footage and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're almost at 400 subscribers. So please subscribe and like this video. One of our top lakes is Vermilion Lakes. Vermilion Lakes is a series of lakes that's immediately west of Banff. We're literally about five minutes from downtown Banff here. So this is a perfect lake to grab a coffee in Banff and bring it down, sit on one of the benches here and just enjoy the views. There's also a little boardwalk and we have seen some people kayak here as well. Welcome to Cascade Ponds. I'm not sure if this is a pond or a lake, but it's very pretty. It's four minutes away from Vermilion Lake and it's called Cascade Ponds because it's right under the Cascade Mountain, which I think is behind us, but don't quote me on that. As you can see, there's heaps of like picnic tables and fire pits, um, plenty of places to probably swim when it's warmer, kayaking, um, yeah really cool place nice views it's very pretty i think there's also a little trail here you can walk all the way around down that way it's a nice beautiful little place to come chill have a picnic canoe anything you want to do really it's good for kids it's good for adults it's good for everyone but we've still got so many more lakes to show you guys so let's get to it welcome to lake johnson everybody so lake johnson is Similar to Cascade Ponds, it has picnic tables, you can swim in this lake. And there's also a three mile trail, which you can do. I think it takes about 43 to 49 minutes, depending on your fitness level, but it's beautiful. Even on a cloudy day, you can still see the mountains behind us. Johnson Lake is typically more warmer than the other lakes in Banff. So that's just something to keep in mind if you do want to come here in summer and the other lakes are a little bit cold head over to Johnson Lake because you can swim here and it's a little bit warmer too. This lake and all the others that you're about to see are so clear. You can see the bottom of them. And this isn't even seeing them at their best. This is a cloudy day as you can see. If the sun was shining down on this water, you would just look so much more colorful and blue. That's all we have for Johnson Lake and we'll see you guys at the next one. Well, it's a bit colder here. Welcome to Two Jack Lake, everybody. So this is another beautiful lake in the Banff National Park. It's got a lot of picnic tables. There's a couple over there. And then there's also a couple right behind us, which has an even more spectacular view. There's a beautiful mountain behind us. You can also fish here, picnic. I don't know if you can bring your own fire pit here, um, but you can even just come and sit on these beautiful chairs behind us and look at the beautiful blue water and the mountain behind us. The water is blue even though it's cloudy. How crazy is that? Also, this is another clear lake. So if you go fishing here, you'll probably see the fish in the water when you're fishing for it, when you hook it and everything. You'll see everything. And if it's a day like today, make sure you bring your surfboard because we've probably got a three foot swell and some nice shore breaks going on at the moment. Most of these places have really good facilities, like they have nice little toilet blocks and they all cater for RVs if that's what you're driving on your holiday here. Um, they're all quite close. These ones are all quite close to Banff as well if you do need to go and get some supplies or whatever for your picnic. Uh, which is really nice. And all the lakes that we're showing you guys today are all pretty close to each other except 
for the last one that we're gonna show you but that's a surprise so stick around until the end for the grand finale in the meantime enjoy some footage of two jackets Anyway, moving right along. Lake, Lake Minnewanka, everybody. everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is one of our favorite lakes here in the Banff National Park. There are boat rides here that you can take. So you can do a Lake Minnewanka cruise. You can swim here in the summer. You can canoe. I'm pretty sure there's also tinnies for hire here. So you can go fishing on the lake. A tinny in Australia is just like a little alloy boat. I don't know what you guys call them. Comment below if you have a word for that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool too. You can just come here with your mates, go fishing on the lake, and then bring your boat back and don't have to worry about cleaning it. As you can see, it's got that beautiful blue color that all the rest of the lakes have as well. And as well, it has a bonus little cafe up the top, so that is a great touch. They also have washrooms here, and they have picnic tables as well, so you can come here for a picnic if that's what you enjoy. We're going to finish off these hot chocolates while you guys have a look at the cafe. Cheers. just wanted to let you guys know that there are a lot of hiking trails here so you can check that on all trails if you wanted to do some hiking here. This lake was not meant to be a part of our list today because it was closed because of avalanches and all that good stuff so we just found out that it's open but it's still frozen. This is the beautiful Moraine Lake and hopefully we can show it to you guys in summer as well. It's so much more cold up here but they've got a gift shop they've got a lodge they've got a coffee shop they've got some um washrooms here as well so yeah. these mountains look incredible there's a lot of landslides and we can see that there's been a few avalanches here as well um but it's very beautiful and we can't wait for the lake to melt so we can see the beautiful blue water Best to last, this is Lake Louise, another beautiful blue-green lake nestled in the mountains. This is melting beautifully at the moment as well. We've been coming up here probably once a week. Yeah. And this is the most melted we've seen it. Just overnight it's melted like another 50%. Yeah. It's crazy. This lake is about five minutes from where we live. It's just literally up the road from where we live. So we like to come here after work on Saturdays and just chill out and relax. Um, there's also a hotel. It's called the Fairmont Hotel. It's a five-star hotel right across from us here. Um, there's also coffee shops and dining areas in there and gift shops as well, if you're interested in that. One of the only drawbacks to this lake is that it does get very busy. There's tour buses coming up here. There's a big car park over there. Um, gets really populated up here so best to come like late at night or early in the morning it's currently like after 9 p.m. right now yeah still plenty of light and not many people here so yeah. also the parking is free after 7 p.m. as opposed to $12.25 so that's also a good reason to leave it until a bit later 
So before 7 a.m., after 7 p.m., free parking. So that's a plus. You can also do some canoeing here or kayaking. Uh, I don't think it's open yet because there's still some ice on the lake, but that's something that you can do here at Lake Louise as well. Side note, we saw two bears. We saw a mama bear and a baby bear, and I couldn't get the camera in time. But we saw two black bears on the way here. So that was a nice way to end the night mm -hmm. and the day. Speaking of ending the night and the day, we are going to leave you guys here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully it was helpful to you. If it was, make sure you like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to buy us a coffee, click the link in the description below if you'd like to support our channel that way. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.